family are entertainers. Oh yeah, your parents are both actors, My right? My parents are both actors. Do you, yeah. do, do you know how they met? No. They met on the set of Star Wars. That's right! Yeah. How? They're both members of the Rebel Alliance. What's that? <laughs> and the good guys. Um, and the what? Princess Leia saying, good guys. Oh, I see, I haven't watched Star Wars. Oh, right. I thought you were really? talking. No, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not going to like make you about it, but you should. Yeah, I know. But yeah. I'm not. Are you into Lord of the Rings and stuff like that too? I don't love Lord of the Rings, but mm. I would, I've seen them. No, I haven't even. Game I, of Thrones? Um, no. Really? Don't judge. You like radio, that's interesting. Yeah, I know. I started watching it and then you have to watch it 100% and you my do. mind is like, yeah, fair I can't you do it. You've got things going on. Totally. So they met, they met on Star Wars and, um, and uh, yeah, they, well, they, had, they had met previously but they sort of rekindled their flame right. on the set of Star Wars, which is, I hope it wasn't like a Leia and Luke situation. That's a very funny joke as Leia and Luke are brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Go on. And, um, and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, that's, so, that, so they're very colourful people. And uh, Mum was also a singer on the West End. Oh, wow. And Dad was a, a model, a male was model. He? Yeah. He was the solo man. Do you remember the, sol the solo Are ads? you? Oh, For real? Like solo. Yeah, I can send you the clip of him in it. Hold on. So he was the guy who would go down. He was the one that ran up the hill with the dog, and at the end of the sort of the end of the sort of cliff, cracks the soul and drinks it. Incredible. Yeah. Nothing you do ever be as amazing as that I in know. real life. I realise. I know he's done that. They were in Star Wars, and he's drunk. He's the solo man, and I tell jokes about Lady Gaga on stage. Really, oh my God, I know it. It was in your blood. There was no denying that yeah. you were going to be a performer, right? Yeah. So growing up, them was very fun because they're very funny people. And so, what was school like for you? School was interesting because so, so primary school. I went to a different primary school. Primary school is where I my, met my best friend Ashley, and um, he's still my best friend. Oh uh, really? To this day. She's still my tour. She's now my tour manager. Oh. As well on the road, um, and she was also my neighbour, and we lived a block away from the school, right. from primary school. So I used to, I used to scoot down there on my laser scooter every day, which I still say was red, but everyone else in my class said was pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, um, and then I went to high school, went to all boys high school. Oh, did you? Which was interesting because, you know, it's very political. It's just as bitchy right. as a girl's high school. Right, right, and, right. Um, and, yeah, it was strange. I was never, like, I was kind of never super bullied in high school, weirdly. Um, but I was, I think it's because I was the editor-in-chief of the student paper. Oh. And under my reign, we, I, I, um... Because it used to be just like a one-sided piece of paper, the Wesley College student paper. Yeah. And I completely rebranded it. Oh, did you? <laughs> Called it the Wesley Inquirer. <laughs> uh, we did a September issue, a 56-page <laughs> colour edition September issue. <laughs> and we had a gossip column in every, in every issue. And I think people were too petrified of me because they didn't want to be included in the gossip So could you, column. in the gossip, you would actually write about the kids yes. in the school? That's hilarious. Yeah. Mm. And uh, and also the teachers. And the weird yeah, the thing, thing was the teachers didn't try and stop it. They tried sucking up to me to stay <laughs> out. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah, it was really it was kind of weird. So that was so high. So all boys high school yeah. in Perth. In Perth, yeah, South Perth. Right. Um, it, it's it's, uh, it's it was a very the problem. Why I didn't like it is it was very focused. My high school was very focused on sport. It offered football scholarships. Ben Cousins right. and Buddy Franklin both went to my high school. Oh, did they? Yeah, and um, and so like they gave they could not care, have cared less about the drama department. Right. Um, and that was kind of my passion. Bad. And um, and while they were pumping you know heaps of money into the rugby team, the drama department was one like kind of dilapidated building at the bottom right, of the school. Right. We went through six drama teachers while I was there. You were drama captain too, I was right? drama captain. And I, I, they, we probably went through six drama teachers because I was a nightmare. Yeah. I would be like waiting in there for like her to arrive on her first day. Like, hello, Renee, been waiting for you. Been here all summer. Look, I think I'll take the class. You go maybe grab us some coffees. I did one day, this is a true disgusting monstrous story. One day I did ordered the drama teacher to go and pick up some coffees for lie. Did she go? Ran rehearsals. Yes, she did. We we're running rehearsals for the school production, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. She was in my bad books because she'd cast me as the Charlie understudy. How dare she as, as the drama captain? <laughs> so I sent her off to get some coffees. <laughs> True story. Did you ever miss out on any roles? Actually, Chrissy Swan said you've got to ask him about who, what's the role that Joel was oh, oh, it wasn't yeah. was the, it was yeah. the understudy. So the yeah, day that is. we found out, because you know, <laughs> there, there weren't many people in the drama class because no one really cared about drama in my school. Yeah. And um, there were a few of us that were really passionate. And, um, and the day we found out, uh, the teacher came into the classroom and I was gunning for Charlie. Look at me. <laughs> 
and Charlie Bucket. <laughs> and uh, I was the drama captain. I've been the lead in every other school production. And th- th- this is a new drama teacher. And she reads it out and she goes, um, okay, blah, 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 blah. Joel Creasy, um, you'll, be the, uh, you'll be the Charlie understudy. And I was like, oh. And then she goes, and Matt, um, you will be Charlie Bucket principal. And, um, and she finished reading out the roles. And I was like, okay, well, well done, class. Well done, everyone. Well done, Matt. You've only been doing drama for one year. But well done. Glad you're the, glad you're the lead. Um, and then I said, I said, look, I'm just going to... I'm really happy for everyone. I'm just going to pop to the bathroom. I just need to... Um, I just need to uh, oh, I've got something I need to... Um, just some stuff I need to go over in there. And literally, the, the, it was like just around the corner of the toilet. Like, anyone could have heard me. But I was like, yeah, I'll just I'll be back in one second. And I just went into the bathroom. and was like... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the whole school could hear me. You literally scream. Yeah. I thought you were going to cry. But no, you just, just <laughs> scream. It was like pulling toilet off the roll, like throwing it around. And then I came back into the class. I was like, right, okay, <laughs> let's, let's start. <laughs>